Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back again to another video from the Apex Predator Billiards Training Club. My name is Apex Elenio, your aspiring professional pool player and pool instructor. And we are back at it again with yet another matchup. A very interesting one at that, one in which I will be exposing to you here a young talent, an amateur level player that in fact was quite ambitious in asking me for a challenge match but with this particular challenge match i put myself on the extreme duress and the challenge was that he had to go four games and i had to go 10 for a particular wager and of course i was regardless of the, the amount of games that i had to spot him i was favorite to win this particular match but this young man tr showed true guts, showed true uh, desire to win. He showed himself that he was ready for the challenge. And he's, of course, been playing this game for a couple of years, but has just really taken the game seriously on a top level here. And of course, starting off there with the lag, as expected, or as you would presume that I'm going to be taking the first initiative. I actually, not, I'm not sure why I actually lagged because I was spotting him six games. So I think it would have been fair enough for me to actually get the break. But we lagged and I won and we are ready and rearing to go. You're going to be seeing a little bit of everything in this match. It was a rather interesting match, but it was an absolutely epic ending. So if you are watching this stay tuned guys i want you to wait for the end because this young man really showed heart when it comes to trying to win this particular match so of course if this is the first time you're on the channel i do provide contents related to various aspects of the game but for the most part i'm only able to provide you contents with regards to uh say here eight ball matches that i've been playing on the circuit for a while i haven't been able to play as much or sorry well, I haven't been able to play as much as I would like to, nor would I be able to post as much tutorial contents. But I'm doing my very best, guys, to bring you some of the best actions that are going on here in Jamaica. So we're going to be kicking this video up from the start and let's see how it goes here. All right, guys. So starting off here with the usual lagging of the break here. Uh, maximum respect shown there by Kimani to both players also they're a young talent to which i also had a challenge match but circumstances due to my control i wasn't able to record that much that also much was a brilliant one well in fact for me there but for this one let's put our focus here we have young talent Liron the goose harris challenging um apex telling you here and as i said before guys this is going to be a grueling match one that is expected well as expected by majority of the fans in the arena here um, i'm expected to perform as best as i possibly can and i'm expected to win but this young man showed true heart all right be sure to hit the subscribe button guys turn on your post notification bell hit the like button guys it helps the channel to get out there and i'm on a quest to exposing not just myself but to expose the young talents here in my country all right, so we're going to be starting off traditionally here with this second ball. Sorry, the side reel second ball break here. And um, as usual, that soft medium break there. Trying to get a ball down. But unsuccessful on that attempt here. So Liron, the goose Harris, gets his first opportunity to come towards the table and to make his claim i know i i'm expecting that there's perhaps some form of nerves um in this particular match for him he's a young talent and um he knows exactly what he's up against so he knows that he's gonna have to play his best game to come out here victorious off to a slightly shaky start there uh position play was a little bit off and as i said guys he's a young amateur so a little bit easy on the critics guys because of course there's a lot for him to learn as you would see there missing that uncharacteristic shot didn't think he kind of settled himself on that shot 
um he kind of went down not really aiming as much but uh let's see here i've gotten my opportunity i'm definitely gonna have to depend on a lot of luck cup break and runs are going to be needed if i'm gonna come out victorious in this match and i'm definitely gonna have to really tie down liran play some mental tactical game with him but i've got my first opportunity here looking at the five ball pardon me i'm looking at the three ball here to see if i can pass but the cue ball seems to be going into the 14 it's going away from the pot on the two and the two five is a problem so i definitely need to solve that problem from now i'm going around here to have a look at if i could land here or somewhere there i may be able to get up some sort of pot on the two but i've changed my mind here i'm just going for the four into the side maybe the pot on the three is not available as yet there's a tricky little seven ball that is available there so i need to get on that asap problem there also on the three which you see i'm looking at there i'm looking to see maybe if i have a slight cut on the three but doesn't seem as if it's available the one ball is there and it seems as if the putting angle may go into the cluster but i don't really want to cause to disturb the cluster if i don't have to so i'm going for the six i'm just probably playing position here for the seven can it go into the side there you can see a tap on the table there definitely blunder number one mark that down that could be um what would cause me to either win or lose this game you will see i'm picking the spot that i would have loved to land seem as if maybe it could have gone into the side but now i've overrolled but i still have to keep going though because now i'm looking at the pot on the seven into the corner looks a little tight going past the one and then position again i need to actually pot this seven you can see i'm stooping down having a close look i still need to play position for a ball so let's see here i'm going down seem as if it goes so let's see nice clean pot there on the seven landing on the one a little awkward on the 50 yard line a little thin so i may have to do some stuff here uh perhaps cutting the one ball with a bit of inside spin trying to disturb the cluster maybe it would have been a good idea to actually pop that one when i had the chance to break out the cluster no i'm gonna have to do that no nice break out there but oh landed a little bit funny well in fact i've snookered myself completely here have a lot of problems here because that three ball that five ball two ball there tied up all clustered up in a, a little square or a little triangle little tricky i'm looking at calculating maybe a soft kick here i can't do much doesn't seem as if any pot is available i'm looking at the one real kick doesn't seem to be available because that nine ball plays a little big so I'm looking to see maybe Massé, maybe a jump. I'm calling safe. So I'm trying to maybe swerve around the 14 here. Just to make contact with one of my balls. Okay, swerve. I think I may have elevated a bit too much. Didn't calculate the swerve on the cue ball there. Giving ball in hand to a talented young player here. At the amateur level really started to take the game serious just over like a year he really started to understand the mechanics and the physics of the game and i'm hoping that after watching this match he'll be motivated to continue doing what he's doing because he has been picking up some bad losses even after this match after this match but i'm hoping that maybe he is gonna be watching this match and be motivated to know that there is a lot more room for improvement and learning this game here is going to take everything out of him nice shot there on that pot cue balls a little bit out of control here he's playing a bit loose though doesn't seem as if he's nervous in any way shape or form because he's putting cleanly stroking delivering the cue he seems to have 
a sense of composure within his body language so he's just finding the potting angle getting down not doing too much calculation just letting loose nice clean pot there on that shot coming two rails for that 12 he has the 11 in the corner but he chose to go for the 12 here coming out all right that's not too bad he's on the 11 So let's see what happens here. Putting the 11 coming down nicely. Leaving himself quite clean. He's playing quite lucid though. Quite fluent. Nice spot. Didn't take much time for him to run that rack. And Leron the Goose Harris has taken the first initiative here. Running out a five ball pattern. Or was it a six ball pattern there? to take a 1-0 lead which magnifies the pressure on Apex Selenio here because now when, what was what was a, what was that I spotted him 6 game I've now basically spotted him 7 so he has 3 to win the cash and of course the I wouldn't call it a prestigious title but I would definitely call it something worth looking back at he's definitely going to be enjoy watching himself play and like I said, this would be, I definitely wanted him to play his best game. And I wanted his best game to be a game that would actually give him the boost of confidence to continue doing what he's doing. Because he has been doing well. He has been improving faster than I expected. So I'm hoping definitely that this will motivate him. Here now we have the break. Sort of, I kind of see that he's not really settling down. Or focusing on the break. I think he kind of just slammed the cue ball into the pack. Hoping for a ball to drop. So definitely that's an area of his game that he will definitely need to work on. You guys would have already known that the most potent part of your game is the break. If you can break and get a ball down as you would have seen in the previous video. Where I had a really magnanim magnanimous victory over one of my worthy rivals. It was the break that made the difference. Separate and, separate and apart from the tactical gameplay and the, the, the quality pool, the break was the key. So he has given me the opportunity here. Ooh, that was a really, really uncharacteristic and a very nasty miss, I should say. Not sure what happened there. May have been doing a bit too much with the cue ball. Tried to use a bit of inside spin. Didn't calculate anything at all here. But already Liron is down. Think maybe he's playing as loose as he can. Because he doesn't want the nerves to get in. Or to strike him. So he's down. You know. Seeing the shot. Seeing the pot. Definitely a rhythmic type of player. Doesn't do a lot of calculation like I do. For, for me everything that I do is a calculation. But for this young man here. He just plays as loose as he possibly can. You know, he sees the pot, he sees the angle, he goes down, he shoots the ball. But, you know, a little bit of precision is all what is needed to always be able to really play this game to the best of your ability. So he's definitely doing the right thing, going around, checking the potting angles, checking the patterns, looking at what he needs to be done. Does he have any problems here? He doesn't really. Maybe the seven ball is a little bit tricky. He has the six ball here. He's looking. Can it pass the 14? I think he can. I think there's enough space. Oh, overcutting that shot there. So that's blunder number one there. That would have been his first blunder. Or his second. Because he missed the earlier pot in rack one. So he missed another pot. So that's two miss pots. There are two uncharacteristic miss pots there by Liron. Giving me an opportunity to come to the table. And I usually don't need. When, when I'm playing my best game. I usually don't need a lot of chances. I don't need a full chance. I just need maybe a half a chance to really get out. So now. I only really have two problems maybe i think that 12 ball right here at the top of the table is a little bit awkward you'll see that i'm going around to have a look i have a combination that i may need to get on as early as possible 
eight ball is quite clear so i know i can be able to get on that at some point during the rock i have the pot on the 15 here so let's see I'm not sure what i'm looking at here maybe looking at potential problems let's just roll this 15 into the side nicely done getting on that combination or that 12 so that 12 is a little awkward definitely need to get into that because it's sitting all it by itself at the top of the table so getting that out from now here that 11 ball though is quite tricky i may need to bump it out into a playable position so let's see here or am i just gonna go through with top spin here and come back out to the middle of the table let's see all right oh missing again definitely not the usual apex lending that you guys would normally see here playing the best pool so miss spots after miss spots this is not looking good because liron may be an amateur player but he's a very strong amateur player who will capitalize if given more than one or i would say more than two chances in a rack and he's not afraid to go for the big shots. He will if he has to. But it's not all bad though. Because that pot on that. That miss pot on that 12 has blocked the two ball. So I still have a little insurance. I still have a chance here. So Liron will have to work out. How is he going to get on that two. He, if he could get on the five. He could perhaps roll up for the four. Into this corner from which he just passed. So if he could roll up, he's using the Dr. D peace sign rule here to see where the cue ball is going to go if he pots it into the side. So he looks at the pattern, seems as if he's going for the 1, then trying to land on the 6, then the 5, then the 4. So he has a good plan here, it looks the same. Has he overruled? No, he's good enough. Or has he overruled? Has he overruled? No, he's down quickly. So he seems to be okay. A little bit lucky there. Going for the pot. Heavy on the angle. He needed to be a bit straight on that five. So I'm not sure if he had or if he could have barely see the potting angle. But that needed some inside left spin there to perhaps come a little bit straight on that five. So he's looking maybe at the bank. Because the angle is heavy, so the cue ball is naturally going to go across the table. He knows he can't play position for the for the four ball into this bottom uh, right corner. So let's see what he's looking at here. So naturally, he's going to go across table. Wow. That was a brilliant shot. That was a brilliant shot. I think he was actually... That looks to be quite deliberate. He tried to pot the 5 to clear the pocket for the 4. And do you see that? There is talent here. There is potential in this young man's game. And he's played with us quite a bit. So he knows exactly what's required. And he knows that he has to come really good with his games today. But now the 8 ball is tied though. Rolling up holding position for the eight with some inside spin i guess he's played position for the eight so surely surely it should be able to pass he wouldn't have played position if it wasn't able to pass so let's see what he does here Ooh, a little quick on the stroke you can see he's exasperated walking away there in despair this is not what you want to do when you're playing with not just me as a player, but any player at my level. You definitely don't want to do something like that. Because this is an open table. Absolutely no problems here for Apex. Should be able to get out. Stunning across, coming down. Playing position for the 9. Overrolling. There you'll see that I'm a little bit exasperated with the positional play here. Little disappointed. May have been better to play for the combination, maybe. 
and the pot is not that the pot is hard hard it's just that the position is a little tricky still think i'm able to pot the nine but i wanted it to be a little easier than this considering that i'm spotting him six games and i'm now ending up spotting him seven so i wanted to you know kind of run this rack get it quite easy but now i don't have a choice i definitely have a difficult pot difficult position here I should be able to get out though. Just using a bit of high right spin here. Bridge length is a little long. Ooh, nicely done. Nicely done there. Nice recovery shot there by Apex. Got a little fortunate bump. So now it should be out from here. But let's see what happens. I remember the shot. And I'm really not sure how or why I had missed the shot. Absolutely crazy. What a banger. What a miss. Spotting this young man 10 games to 4 and missing a pot like that is deserving of a loss. There's so many different ways that I could have popped that shot. Not sure I may not have committed myself to the stroke, may have used it, may have used some, may have miscalculated the, the, the compensation of the spin. I, I added a little bit of low left to that, but I may not have compensated, hence missing that shot by a quarter for diamond. So pressure, pressure here for Apex Selenio. It is now two games to zero and I'm spotting this young man. 10 games to 4. What will the outcome of this match be? Liron should be feeling confident. Should be feeling really pumped. Knowing that he's 2-0 up. Pressure, pressure guys. Hit the subscribe button guys. Turn on your post notification bell. Lots of videos are coming out in the next couple of weeks. As I said, guys, I'm going to try to post a content a week for you. Got to take my hat off here because I think I got a little bit complacent. No, definitely got not, gotten a golden opportunity there from Liron and didn't capitalize. And I definitely know that I have quite a few weak areas in my game, especially in the mental aspect of the game. So I know definitely that this kind of shook me a little bit. So I know now that I really have to level down because if he wins one more game, he's going to be on the hill. And that's going to be, that's going to be mag magnanimous right now. That's going to be almost near impossible to win because he's capable of running out if the table is open there. Another break shot there by Leron the Goose Harris. Another unsuccessful break. And so you'll know definitely that with an unsuccessful break, you're opening up the door for your opportunity. Sorry, you're opening up the door and giving your opponents opportunities that if they definitely start settling down, it's going to cost you. So another unsuccessful break here. Liren has given me a partial open table here, potting that ball into the corner. The only tricky shot that I see here on the table is the 10, which it still is able to pass into the corner. The 9 ball may have been also a problem here. I'm on the 12, so I'm going to have to cut this and come across two reels, maybe. One, two reels, come across nicely. Tricky 15 ball that can only go into the side. I also have that nine ball there. So let's see how I go about this. It's not the easiest rack to run, but I'm going for it. Or am I? This tricky 14, thin cut here on the 14. So again, it looks to be another two real positional play. Flirting very close to the side pocket here. Maybe need to knock that 13, prob probably with a bit of top right spin. Missing going through. Not bad, but a fortunate bump. A little tricky now. That 13 ball is now a bit more tricky than I actually thought it would be. So I have some work to do. 
I'm having a look to see if the 15 goes past the 5 and the 7. But the language alone says that that doesn't seem to work. So I'm going to go for the 9, maybe in the corner, the left corner, the right corner. I'm having a look. I need that 12 ball or that 10 ball, pardon me. Is it the 10 or the 12? I'm not sure. So I'm going for it here. I'm going to be putting the 9. Let's maybe soft rolling this ball. Rolling down, getting that pot into the side. So that's not bad. But how do I get on the 13? How do you actually get on the 13 from here? This is pressure. This is absolute pressure. 15 ball is tricky. 10 ball is in the side at a very acute angle. Q ball is going into the 4. So let's see here. This is a must win rock by whatever means necessary. So into the side. Oh, so I had space. Wow. What a beautiful shot there for the 13. Using some high left spin. Coming perfectly for the 13 into the corner. Would you look at that? Now I'm in prime position, definitely need to finish this rack. All the hard work has been done. This was a really tricky rack, tough rack to run out. But it's a must win rack because if Liron was able to get to three, the pressure would almost be unmanageable. Have a little disturbance by a few um, flies maybe. The environment is a bit smoky, a little bit noisy at that. Need to hold here. Let's see. Going between the 8 and the 15. That's not bad. But what do I do here though? Can it pass between the 5 and the 7? Can it go into the side? Is there a bank? What do I do here though? There is absolutely no shot. There is no shot here. I think I was trying to bump the 15 actually. And it goes right between. And the table is quite open. So Liron sitting quite calmly there in the corner. With his blue rag on his left knee. Just waiting to capitalize. But I'm looking at the cross side bank here. I don't have another option. But I use a lot of mathematics when it comes to my banking. And I kind of know this table quite well. So I'm going for the bank. Perhaps stunning between the 8 and the 6 coming back down. Two reels. Oh wow. What an incredible shot there by Apex Elenio. And a respectable applause there by Liron for that bang shot coming two rails back out to the middle of the table to definitely let him know that i'm here to play as well made a few early mistakes but really nicely done there by apex Elenio to capture his first win in this match so it's not too bad at the moment nice break and run there so Liron knows that i'm here to play Tough rack there. Definitely tough rack. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Like I said, there are so many matches coming out. Well, at least there's a lot of matches coming out where I got I got my head. <laughs> I would say that I got my face slammed into the wall by my, my current world rival, Shane. I have two matches coming up. So definitely look out for those, guys. Not sure if you enjoy these types of content, but I'm putting them out there just for future referencing. I had a successful break at the start and I yet again have another unsuccessful break. So you'll see that there's a huge difference between this match and the match that was previously uploaded on my channel. And on that, on that particular match there, every time I broke, a ball went down. And that's the key to really getting into the match here. 
So, unsuccessful break there by Liron, by Apex, pardon me. Liron now comes to the table with a couple of problems to solve. So, let's see what how he goes about the rack. Stop shot there on the two for the six, maybe into the, into the corner. And as you can see, he plays quite loose, very rhythmic type of player. Not very calculated like I am. Missing another uncharacteristic shot. Has the nerves chipped in? I don't think he needs to get nervous because he's way ahead. I have nine more games to win. He has three. So I don't think that there's a reason for him to be nervous at this point. But so far, each and every rap that has played, he has missed an easy shot. As to why, I know that he'll be watching this match. So Liron, if you can let the audience know in the comment section exactly what was going on through your mind with those couple of early misses, including that six ball there. Let's get back to the rack here. I have the 14 ball tied up with the eight down table. So Liron has control of the table down at that bottom half. So I need to figure out how do I get on that 14. I don't think it's playable, so it definitely needs some development. Or can it though? Can I draw? And come down for the 14 maybe the 12 ball is there the 15 is there the 6 blocks the 13 so lots of problems here maybe rolling up all right so that's another horrible miss may have been a snap not sure missing that I'm not sure really what happened here guys that was an awful miss one in which that I'm definitely not proud of. But I'm not sure what happened here. Let's get back to it though. Liron has his chance. Combination there solving that problem on the one. He has control of the table in so many ways. Because the six ball blocks two of my balls. So Actually blocks three of my balls. I'm not sure if the 14 passes the eight into the pocket where he's shooting the one. So problems everywhere here. And he's playing pretty good. In this match, he really plays pretty good. So he's looking here at landing. So he's playing with some left spin. Inside spin. Nicely done. Really nice. Getting position on the two. So maybe a draw shot. Stun. Missing. Missing too many shots now, Liron. So if it's, if it's ever going to go down, it is those four blunders that you have made so far. And he has now cleared the pocket for me here. I have a thin cut on the 12. This is a, huge, this is a very thin back cut. So cue ball, if I go for this pot on the 12, cue ball is going to be a bit heavy. Perhaps better is... Better if I go for it. Well, I'm actually calling the pot. I don't think my potting angle here doesn't seem to line up clean because this needs a bit thinner for cut. Let's see here though. Definitely. I saw that I needed more pot. Just commentating on the match here. I saw that I needed a bit more potting angle. But it didn't work out too bad though because can Liron see the five ball here though? not so sure and even if he can see the five i'm not sure if he has or he's able to get position onto the three or the four so he's looking though he's looking looks he looks positive so he's just calculating all right so he's looking at the back cut on the two so clearly that fireball is not available because he would have gone for it so he's looking at the back cut. So he's looking at perhaps playing for the position for the five into the side. So cutting that two ball there. Really nice there by Liron. Excellent pot there. And he's perfect. If he has the angle, he should be able to stun out and hold for the three. Beautiful. And I believe that he told, I think he had a conversation with Shane. I think maybe in the week of this match. And he said that he had problems drawing the cue ball. 
and i think the advice that shane gave him was that when it's time to draw the ball you will learn to draw the ball and if you look here at this really beautiful shot here played by Liron, the eight ball is all the way down so he has to land perfectly on the short rail what a beautiful shot there by Liron. excellent excellent positional play made a blunder as you all do if you're an amateur player you're going to make that odd blunder but it's how you it's how you capitalize there I was a little concerned though if that was perhaps a foul shot i'm not so certain let's have a look at the replay i think at the end of the match i think um one of the players said to me that that was in fact a foul shot but i don't think it was let me know in the comments well obviously you guys have would have seen the replay so i'm going to perhaps zoom up and see if that was real if it had really contacted the 14 before but you know nevertheless the match has already gone the game has already won um to me it looked clean so Liron now is on the hill and i have nine more games to win Liron all he has to do now is to hold his composure he has played two good racks so far he's run out the first rack after making a blunder to take a one nil lead and then again there i made another blunder and he was able to clear the rack so he played really well in this match but let's just see how the remaining match unfolds and like i said guys there's an epic ending coming at the end of this match because this young man showed absolutely true heart true desire to win so he has not yet had a successful break and he has still not gotten one or has he yes he has so perfect timing on the break what a time to get a successful break but couple of problems to solve let's see what he decides to do here he's perhaps going to go i'm not seeing i think he's standing in front of the pattern so i we can, okay now we can see and he's down quickly though i think he's just trying to prevent the nerves from rolling in he's not trying to overthink so he's going for the solids and he would have definitely been in command of the rack there nice position really nice though he's playing clean has he snookered himself though is he able to play the three ball into the corner i don't think so so i think that that's a blunder again trouble trouble liran even though he has an insurance ball covering my 11 ball we all know that that can be developed because i have a couple of balls down there that i can play one rail two rails break that cluster out but i definitely want him to play well and if he wins i'm definitely going to congratulate him here so he tried to kick but he missed that kick completely and he has given me the opportunity here and i didn't hesitate because of course that is the only problem that i really have on the table so i'm down quickly and missing that pot definitely played that shot way too fast definitely played that shot way too fast he still has a couple of problems though because that 11 ball even though i missed it horribly it has now blocked the only available pocket for the three so how will he play position for that three is what he has to work out now he has broken out the three ball what a great shot there by Liron. but landed there can it double double knock off the 11 to go into the corner maybe that's his only option because that three ball now has gone into a little bit of a tricky position but let's see how he goes about the rack pots that shot holds position he has the one into the side Liron has the primary opportunity here 
Still has the five ball a little tricky though. Definitely, as I thought that maybe would have been able to double knock off the eleven into the into the corner, but now he is in a world of problems because he has no or is he? He's down quickly. He's down quickly, but he's back up again. Not sure if it was a scare tactic to let me think that maybe the combination is clean, but I don't think it's clean. And um, I, I, I'm not sure if he knows how to jump the cue ball. Or what is he doing here? He's going for the cross side bank. Very aggressive. He's trying to make something happen here. But no, 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 it is not for him. Walking away with a little bit of exasperation here. I did get a clean rock like this earlier. And I messed it up by missing the last ball. So I know that that would be on my mind. So I definitely know that my position play has to be way cleaner than that particular rock that had cost, that had, had Lee run went up 2-0. So putting this 13 into the corner. Coming up table, I have the nine ball as an insurance shot here. Bumping one rail, coming out. I have the 12, I have the nine. All right, let's see here. 14 ball down table. It's rolling this nine ball. It needs a little angle and I have gotten it. Yes, I have. But can I pass the 15 though? I need to get down for the 14. Need to get down for the 14 because the 8 ball is near to the 15. It's easier to transition from the 15 ball to the 8. So passing the 15 here, coming down nicely. That's okay. I have still have the 15. It's a little thin. Cue ball might be a little hot. It has a natural path to go for the 14. But just walking around here. Just taking the 14 instead. If I can land there, I would be perfect. And you would have seen where that technique of speaking, picking your positional zone really helps you perfectly landing exactly where I wanted the cue ball to land. So now all I have to do now is just go around two rails here. Maybe one rail. A right, little bit of a nerves, guys. Trying to tighten. Ooh, landed a bit close to my work. Oh, this is trouble, Apex Lenio. This is trouble. Too close to my work. Definitely too close. And I'm not sure if the pot is even available. Looking like I'm going for the thin cut. Cue ball is going to be hot coming off multiple cushions, so gotta even be aware of the scratch. That's the, perhaps the worst way to lose a rack. You know, potting the ball, scratching on the hill with your opponent. That's crazy. But my, I, knowing myself, I know exactly that whenever I have this type of body language, definitely the pot is not available. I'm calling the pot though. I think I really got to a point where I got a little frustrated with myself. Going for the pot. Thin, thin cut here. Let's see what happens. Can I cut it thin enough? Not thin enough. Cue ball. Oh dear. Just as I thought. It's perhaps the worst way that you can exit a match. And Liron here has two balls to take this particular match here there is no reason why Liron should not really take this match here simple stop shot simple draw shot here so he's looks like he's playing top so he's going two rails one oh no Liron that is not the way you should play that shot I think that the intent was to go two rails to come back down middle table. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. He has definitely given this rack away here. He still has a bank. But you don't want to land on a bank on the hill. He's trying to bank, banking wide. 
still leaving me quite tough. I'm not so certain what went on. I think maybe it would have been that he was a little bit anxious. Wasn't composed because I think that maybe you could have stun draw that ball. You will see that I'm checking that particular shot here. This is in fact an exact 30 degree cut shot. So I know exactly where I need to aim. But of course I'm a little nervous. He's on the hill. I have nine more games to win. This is like the toughest shot I could ever get in my career. Dropping that elbow there, you see. Not working out. Skipping here. And Liron has got the eight ball. Dead straight. So Liron here has been given the opportunity to defeat a very strong opponent that gave him 10 4 odds to beat him 4 1. Missing the eight. Absolutely horrible. And scratching the eight ball. Wow. What a turn of events. So there were some nerves. You'll see that he's trying to shake it off. He's a little disappointed in... You know, he got two opportunities there. You know, he messed it up. So, there's not really much that he can do in terms of how he's feeling. He has to recompose himself. I got fortunate, you know, I'm going to need a few of those, you know, I'm under pressure. It is 10-2. I have 8 games to win. He has 1 to win. What are the chances? What are the chances of you beating a amateur level player who is capable of running a 5 ball, 6 ball rack if the tail is open? What are your chances? I'm definitely going to have to really strap down and start settling in. So, let's see here as we continue. It is 10-2. I have my chance. I got lucky. I survived because of a blunder. And there you see yet again another unsuccessful break. Liron there just taking a quick drink. You know, recomposing himself. Knowing that it all went wrong in that rack. But he still has a job to do. He has to win this rack. And this break here is not one of those open ones. So... It may turn up into a slight tactical battle, maybe. And again, he's not really doing much calculation. He's just, you know, he's a very rhythmic type of player. He may need to add some precision to his game in the future here. But not bad. Alright, he has popped the 14 into the side. So he has a pot on the 9, on the 11, he has a pot on the 13. He has a combination from the 12 to the 13. Problematic ball here. 15 ball needs development. And he's just working out all the angles here. Just getting himself settled. So he's shooting the 9 into the side. Again, you'll see that that would have been the third time or the fourth time that, he's would, that he has missed a shot that he would make on any given day under a circumstance that is different from this i'm just confirming exactly because i think i wasn't looking at the game I was a little distracted there but you not know, confirming that solids are in fact mine so i'll i don't have much attacking options here so i'll need to i need to try to block some pockets maybe pot some balls create some problems move around some pawns so i'm shooting the one I was actually trying to call the one. I did call the one, but I missed. Liron still has a problem on that 15 ball. But he has to deal with the shot that is immediately in front of him at the moment. He has the 10 ball here. Or is it the 12? It's the 10 ball. Alright, so that was a tough part there, missing that one table is slightly open and as i said guys it really doesn't take much of a chance for me to win this rack i just a slight opening is just good enough there putting that one into the corner some tricky positions to land here still pretty good eight ball is tied up but i have a couple of balls that i could actually use to break out so i'm going for the two ball here or pardon me i'm going for the four into the corner 
caught in that thin coming two reels. Nicely done there, landing perfectly on the three. Does the six go into the side? Not 100% sure. I'm having a look though, because that would be the ideal shot to take. If I can get that six into the side, that would be ideal. And that would open up the rack a little bit more. I'm looking at the seven here. So maybe drawing, putting the seven, maybe drawing into the eight. I'm having a look to see if the draw will perhaps nudge the eight. Doesn't seem that way. So I'm going for the three ball here. Not too bad. Play position for the five. Or play position for the two into the side. Can the six go? Looks to be a better pot. So I'm going for the six here. Not too bad. Two ball into the side, obviously. Five ball is also available. So I'm looking here. All right. Seven ball is a little tricky. So let's see where this lands us. Two ball has a natural part. So I'm looking here to just land right to that position where I just placed my hand. So I'm going to be using the natural cue ball here. And there's a system that I have on my channel for predicting the cue ball's path of reels like this one. One, two, the right speed should be okay. Perfectly landing on that seven. There is actually a video on my channel with how you can actually predict the cue ball's path when it's coming off two reels with a pot into the side. So if you guys definitely want to add some more precision to your game, check out my three reel positional play video a link will be in the description seven ball coming two reels coming nicely out here for that five ball this was a nicely executed rack can the eight pass though i'm having a look to see if the eight passes looks to be a little tricky so i may have to you know kind of draw maybe I can't stop the cue ball. I can't stun. I may have to draw. So let's see here. Settling down here. Not too bad. Landed exactly where I wanted it. But is it available though? The pot should be available. I think I kind of calculated that. That's where I needed to be. I'm look. I think I'm looking at the bank. I think it's the bank that I had played for because immediately there you'll see that I'm using the parallel shift system. So I'm calling the bank because the pot straight up wasn't available. So let's see here. Using stone follow here. Cuba went going a little bit long. Wow. What a blow. That was a blow. Not the ideal way that I wanted to end that rack, but uh, let's see here. Liran has gotten yet another opportunity. Definitely, there should be some nerves of some sort because he needs to get out. He's capable of putting. And he barely got that 15 ball down. But he was playing an intended two-way shot though because if he, if he had missed that ball... I would have only been left with a jump shot, which should be makeable for me. But I think he tried to play a two-way shot there because he knew that getting the cue ball down to that part of the table there would have snookered me. So let's see here. He has the nine into the side. 11 ball though, tricky, but he should be able to use the 10 to get onto the 11. And this is perfect. 14 ball perhaps going one reel coming up for the 12 or maybe a stop shot he seems to be playing one reel coming up he has to put into the side he has to put into the corner options Liron yet again is on two balls to the eight into the corner not too bad a little steep but he should be okay it's a fairly easy cut shot here. Just trying to avoid that. It is coming back down to about where he is here. He definitely doesn't want to bump any ball here. 
Oh dear, oh dear, he has bonked the eight. Leaving himself thin. Extremely thin on this eight ball here. And even though this is an eight foot table, guys, you've got to understand that it's just as difficult to pot thin cut shots on an eight foot table as it is to pot on a nine foot table. But he's here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Very, very disappointing there. Is that pressure? Is that nerves? Liron tried to run out a really good rack, but missed that thin pot there, bumping into balls. Caused him to move that eight ball from really where it was, which was perfect. Definitely feeling the pressure here. Two mistakes, two blunder, two huge blunder in two consecutive racks that he had the chance to win. That will affect anyone's mental game, no matter what level you're at. If you're going to be playing pool and you're going to be missing the positions like that, you know, bumping into balls, changing the pattern, changing the, the position of the balls, that's going to cause you to lose many, many racks. And I really think that Lee Run should have kind of taken a few minutes because we're not using a shot clock. It's not a tournament. He could have settled a bit more on that shot and to get the pot. But, you know, it works out. That's just how the game is, you know. It's a mental game. And you can see here that I've gotten lucky in two racks. I've gotten lucky in two racks. And, you know, it's just a part of the game. And, you know. Sometimes it goes for you, sometimes it goes against you, but it's just what we learn from this moment here. Yet again, another unsuccessful break. Totally contrary to the previous video. I had six successful breaks in that video, which caused me to have a 7-0 victory over a worthy opponent. It's the total opposite that we're looking at here. So Liron again, yet again, has another chance back at the table. It's not working out. Apex Selenio, in his usual self, has not yet shown up. Apart from that exquisite break and run, we really haven't seen much. Liron is shooting pretty good. Definitely overruled that pot there. He knows he has options though think that he wanted to play the 12 into the side he has options 10 into the side there he has the nine ball he can play position for either the 13 or the 15 plays position for the 15 a bit close to his work though but he's okay the position though let's see how he plays position He's down, he sees that the cue ball is going into the cluster, so he has to determine. He perhaps needs to draw, pop the 15 and draw down for the 12 into the side. See, he's looking at the 12 ball, the 13 ball here. So he's going for the thin pot on the 13. Is this the right shot though? I'm not so certain. Okay, so I see what he was trying to do. He was trying to pot and break out the 15 maybe the 15 couldn't pass i'm not sure but missing that again blunder blunder number five well blunder number seven in fact was he missed that eight ball and he missed the position so he knows that too many chances can cost him here combination one Onto that ball. Getting rid of that problem there. Let's see. I have the two, the four ball and the six that is up there in that cluster. So the five ball leads me to the six. And the six, depending on the angle, it should be able to nudge out the four. So playing position here for the five. I definitely try to play position for the five. I have the seven as an insurance. Maybe I think that it would have been ideal to play for the 7 here. Let's see. Rolling forward, I guess. Really, really nice there. That's a really good positional play there by Apex Alenio. 
So now I just need to pop this six and knock out the four. Having a look to see if the four passes, I'm not certain. I'm not certain from this angle. But let's see how I play here. All right. So definitely try to develop the four ball, but no. Okay then. The four ball has a pot into the side. I think I wanted it to be a little straight down maybe. So the pot is not available straight down, which would have been ideal. Stop, stop, or stop, roll. So I'm, I have to go for the side here. Tricky shot because it's so thin that the cue ball is going to have a lot of speed coming off the short rail. So I'm going to have to play with the right speed here. think what i've called what what have i called here i'm not certain i'm not certain what have i called here oh so i can see the seven i didn't think i could see the seven so that was interesting that was pretty good all right then so we are on the three coming one rail so the four ball goes straight up into the corner so that was a good pot there because i didn't think that i could see the seven i played this match a while back so i don't really remember exactly the play that i had but here i have the four nice pot there on the four steady keeping the focus and yet again apex lenio had to really show up in this rack punishing Lee Rong for those two early mistakes that he made spotting this eight ball here to take a 4-3 lead not bad so Lee Rong was punished there unforced error causing him to lose that rack Everybody, I think, would have been on the side of Liron here, expecting him to win because he's on the hill. So it's going to be quite heartbreaking if he loses this match. But I have to do my very best. I have to capitalize on every mistake that he makes because there is no chance that I will have to win this match if I do not capitalize on every mistake that he makes. So let's see here do not forget to hit the subscribe button guys hit the like button helps the channel to grow you are some young talents that are in and around my area but there's way more talented players here in jamaica and i'm looking forward to exposing them to you in matches against myself and against with others so is there a successful break that i can get no successful break disappointed it's not working out this time. The break is failing me. I'm not able to run racks if I'm not breaking and potting a ball. Lee Run is coming to the table too many times. So it's going to cost me if I'm not able to get a successful break. So Lee Run here has missed one eight ball. And he has played position. He has missed one eight ball. And he has gotten an opportunity to run out a two ball table and landed nasty on the eight. So, and he's actually he had scratched an eight ball before. So he definitely needs to hold his composure. There is still time for him to get settled. He only has one more games to win. I have six more games to win. So he pots the 5. Moving the 13 ball. Now he has made that football a bit trickier. So there is pressure. I'm not sure why. Well, I I honestly know. I'm, I'm, I know exactly why there might be pressure. Because definitely he knows that I'm capable. He knows that Apex Lineo is capable of running 3-4 racks. If I get the opportunity. If I get a successful breakdown. And the table is good. Most likely, the confidence will build up with every break and run that I get. So he knows that he needs to win this match 
sooner rather than later now he has the five ball he's going for the pot on the five and you have seen where he missed a couple of uncharacteristic shots already and he hasn't missed that one Liron has an opportunity or does he can the six pass the two i don't think so he doesn't have a pot on the one he doesn't have a pot on the four so all he has here is a thin an extremely thin cut here on the seven He's having a look at the 6-2 combo. Yeah, he's having a look at the 6-2 combo. So he's attacking. Maybe he could have considered looking at some sort of containing safety here. But he's going. Oh, that went down quick, quite fast. That, was, that shot was definitely a bit rushy. So Liron feeling a little bit of pressure here. You know, I'm trying to get over the hill. So let's see what happens here. Trying to sort out the problem that I have immediately. Not bad. Putting that 11 ball. Getting position on the 12. 13 ball though is tricky. Well, not tricky. It's blocked. So if I can get that 13 ball now, that would be ideal doesn't look to be available or does it checking to see the 13 ball passes straight up if i shoot the 12 ball now so that's definitely the plan shooting the 12 stop or stun drawing here so i just kind of stop the ball here have the 15 ball here that is on the short rail so i'll just use that to play position let's see 13 ball definitely goes straight up into the corner where the cue ball is nine ball also is a potential problem that i need to solve almost immediately so i'm going for it now not bad it's landed perfectly here on the nine these shots when you have to shoot them past the side pocket you have to be very careful your stroke has to be quite clean and smooth Not bad. Barely got that one down. That was a little tricky. But now I have the angle from the 14. May I be able to develop the 13 here? Or will I try to play position for the 15? It's a pressure situation. I definitely need to get out in this rack. Couple of mistakes made early put me under serious pressure. Could have been a lot farther had I run a couple of rocks. Try to develop the 13 though. Didn't work out. Missed a pot on a ball. Gave Lee Run an easy rock. Tried to run a rock. Snookered myself. Lee Run played really good in the first half of this game. So this game is not really a bad match. You know, Lee Run made a couple of mistakes. As I said, I've made a couple of mistakes. but definitely here let's see what is offering i'm still having a look at that 13 so how do i play position for the 13 or can it pass can i put that 13 ball now it doesn't seem so i don't think i had a look lots of calculations need to be done here i have to play the advantage so i have to still look out for a safety What am I looking at here though, guys? I'm looking at the pot. It looks as if I'm looking at the pot. And I'm actually using my system, my reference angle system here. So it can, I can see the pot, but can I make it? Let's see here. Settling down. Ooh, because of the position on the 12. If I had rolled that shot, I would have had a better chance of making it. But the position on the 12 was really difficult. So missing that pot, Liron has yet his third opportunity to take the match. How many more chances can you ask for? Not much. 
Because if he doesn't capitalize, this could pr prove quite futile for him. So he has the six. Definitely still keeping that rhythmic stroke that he has. Has he overplayed position here? Oh, I think he has. I really think he has. He tried to play for the two. Wow. What a bang shot there by Liron. Definitely holding firm, holding the nerves. He went down and fired that one into the bank, into the pocket, like a rocket. What a beautiful shot here. Liron has finally got himself down to the last ball. This looks a little similar here. He had the one into the corner and Liron here is on the eight. A nice shot here to take a magnanimous victory over a really talented player here. So Liron settling down here. Oh dear, oh dear. Would you look at that? Absolutely disappointing. I was really willing him to win because he played so well he played a couple of really good positions here and i was willing him on to win because i was actually asking him just about as he as he missed the shot i was like what happened why didn't how what happened on that eight he alone can let me know in the comments what really happened on that eight but he is giving me a chance and i have to take it i have to take it because i'm still in the match you know these things happen to the best of the best you would have seen where great players, potential players, pro players have missed easier shots than that one. But Liron definitely has gotten more opportunities than you can actually get in a lifetime to win the cash and to win the match. So now he has given me the momentum that probably I was looking for. He has given me the momentum that I'm looking for to actually win this particular match here. I'm just confirming that I'm at 5 and he's at 3. Well, he's been on the hill since I was at 1. And he has already made 3 errors. Scratched the 8. Missed the 8. Missed another 8. I run out a clean rock. So, he gave me 3 chances and I made use of 1. But will Liron be able to go over the hill? Will he be able to conquer Apex Selenio? Is it coming down to that turning point? Has he made too many mistakes? And there again, another unsuccessful break. But this time, it is worse than before. A break and scratch is perhaps the worst thing that can happen to a player who is trying to fight his way back into the match. But can Lee run? Will Lee run? Will he finally be able to get over the hill? He has his chance. So here we go, Lee run. Let's stay focused. You can do this. I'm actually willing you on to win because you've really played well. I was very, very proud of you in this match. As a young player who has been learning the game for a few years but has just really taken up this game serious. I was very proud of you in this particular match here and I, you know, definitely hope. But I know he has heart. He has heart. He's not going to stop fighting regardless of the errors that he has made. He's not going to stop fighting. He has five more chances. So if he plays, if he just continues to stay focused, he should be able to get over. So let's see here. Gone for the solids. And he's still playing with that rhythmic stroke. So he's not trying to over calculate or over process anything. He's just playing the shots. If he gets them, he's going to take them. But again here, misposition. And this, what, this has been the common denominator in this match. The positional play has been a bit off for, for me more so than Liron. For me... I have made a couple of positional errors, but it has not really cost me as much as how it has cost Liron. Liron getting a little bit anxious there, going for a wild bank. He has gone for a wild bank, apologizing that he got a bit fortunate with this roll. 
And it was that earlier rat that he fired. I think that rat that carried me to four. He fired at a cross bank on that five. So it seems as if that five, which is the same color of his shirt, seems to be his demise so far in this match. But what will happen here? I will definitely have to be tying him down. I'm, I need to add more pressure because the pressure of missing two eight ball on the hill can affect you mentally. So I need to take advantage of that mental mistake that he has made. Settling down here, just rolling that ball in. Ooh, almost scratching. <laughs> All the players there were like on edge there. Almost scratching that shot. Apex, you're playing with a little bit of fire here. Because Liron is on the edge and ready. It's like a ticking time bomb. Ready to go off. He's crossing his heart. <laughs> and he's actually asking for a chance. Liron, you have gotten many chances, son. You haven't yet capitalized on any. Not bad there. Moving that shot, but... Oh, has there been a mistake? Is there a mistake here? I tried to move that blocker ball, but I didn't really get the cue ball safe. So again, that is the common denominator in this match here. Liron, he's on the one. And this is the third time that he's on this one ball that's going to take him for the win. Nicely done. Nicely done here. He's on the eight for the fourth time in a row. He missed the eight the first time and scratched. Missed two position on the eight. Well, missed position on the eight in rat number three. <laughs> missed the eight completely on rat number four. And oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, this is absolutely mind-boggling. He's in a tip-top position though. Because the eight ball, like if I miss right now, there is absolutely nothing that can save me. And I have a lot of problems. But what will I do here? How do I escape this? I don't have any easy part. I'm not sure if the 9-14 combination is easy to be made. I may have to play a safe of some sort. Oh, this is interesting. This is a really, really tricky match. Liran missing the 8. And that has just been his downfall. Really and truly. That has just been his downfall. I consider this match to be a really world-class match here. He's not able to jump. Good safety there by Apex. I know that he's not a jumper. He doesn't know how to jump the cue ball. So that would have been an advantage for me there. And even then, I would have played a still good safety because I'm very close to 11. So hopping over that 11 is going to be quite difficult for him, even if he could jump. But challenging here, it's not like the eight ball is inside the corner pocket. It's at the edge, so he has to kick and kick well. He can't go to the side rail. <laughs> But this should be an easy kick for Liron actually. And I'm not sure if he studies my system. I know he talks a lot. Like he watches my video, videos a lot. So he knows about the kick systems that I use. But I mean, like I said guys, he's an amateur level player. And he doesn't know everything. He knows a few things. But I feel like this kick should be a kick that Liron should be able to make. Because he has wide open space for the eight. Ooh, so close. So very close on that kick. And now the table is open. I only have one problem ball, which is the 12. So I need to get rid of that 12 ball right now. It would be nice if I could move that 8 ball out of the pocket. Oh dear. I tried to move the 8 out of the pocket, but look at where the 8 went. So I'm going to have to play a couple of safeties here on him though because I think I may have the 9 into the side or the 11 into the side. I should be able to try to go for a two-way shot here. But I cannot allow him to see that 8 because that 8 passes the 12. 
And I have to be careful because earlier he tried to kick out that eight and he went really close. And for those of you, my older audience, you'll know that this table, um, the, the rails are a little bit low. So if you play the kick a bit too hard, then the, the cue ball jumps and changes the trajectory of the kick angle. So you have to compensate for the jump on this table. So I'm not certain. I think I'm going to go for the combo though. Because the combo is quite clean. But I have to be careful about that 15 ball. Because if it comes off the short side rail. I don't want the 8 ball to block the putting angle for it. So let's see here. I'm going for the combo. And that's what I was afraid of. The 8 ball blocking the putting angle for the 15. So a couple of bad decisions, or is it really a bad decision? I'm trying to attack, I'm trying to win the rack, whatever means necessary. I'm calling safety here. So carrying that cue ball all the way down and blocking him from that eight. Nice shot there, because now I've, now I've literally blocked the eight ball in. He may be able to kick to the side rail and touch the 8, but I don't think he can really make anything happen here. So, yes he can. I think he can. I'm not certain if the cue ball can go. Well, it, well, there's no pot here. Definitely no pot. So he has to try to make contact with the 8. No ball in hand here, Liron. Let's go. Nice kick there. Nice flush kick there on that 8. Absolutely here. So I have to be careful here. Just walking around to make certain that I don't leave him too much. I'm going to have to leave him with a tough kick. But I definitely need to block him. We used to use, um, I got to use that 9 ball also as aid to block him from the 8. Tricky, tricky. I'm calling the bank. So it's a two-way shot. Calling the bank and still playing safe here. Let's see if the bank is goes. Well, the bank would have gone had I played a bit harder. But now it's a tricky. I think he has a slight sin cut onto the eight here. And this young man shows true heart. It is this moment that you guys have been waiting for. And this young man really showed a fighting spirit. He knows that if he doesn't win a rack or win this rack that gets him over the hill, sooner rather than later, it's going to cost him. So, for the first time in the match, you've seen where Liron here has actually stand up for five seconds without going down. So he knows how important this kick shot is. He has to make, and he has a really good chance of making the eight ball here. He has a really good chance of making the eight. So he's calculating the kick angle. And I think he disclosed to me that the, the, the video, my SID system video, that kick system, let's have a look here. What a great shot there by Liron. What a great shot there. Even myself, I had to get up off the chair to congratulate him on that kick shot. What an amazing kick shot there by Liron. Incredible shot. I had to be tapping the table. I'm a gracious winner. I'm a gracious loser. Celebrating there with Liron. Congratulations, young man. After missing two eight ball. Oh dear. He must be feeling ecstatic. He's like a celebrity at the moment. I'd love for you guys there to hear what he has to say. I think I'm going to be walking around with the camera here. I'm going to be pausing the talking. But guys, thank you so much for watching. There we have Spades visiting us from his area. Bless up yourself, Spades. Guys, let's hear what Liron has to say. Great match there by him. Subscribe to the channel. He's exasperated. Feeling really good. It's not even about the money. It's really about the win and the fight.
Let's hear what he has to say, guys. Take care, and until next time, bye-bye. All I do is work.